A&E's biography returns to the life of Bruce Lee. <laughs> the mid-1960s, Bruce Lee had opened a kung fu school in Oakland where he was teaching his innovative techniques. Well, kung fu is originated in China. It is the ancestor of karate and jiu-jitsu. It's more of a complete system and it's more fluid. Bruce was willing to teach anyone interested in kung fu. He totally refused to get into the whole Chinese practice of only teaching Chinese. He taught everybody, and he learned from everybody. He learned from American boxing, fencing, wrestling, judo, uh, and other grappling techniques. The teaching of non-Chinese students angered the Chinese martial arts establishment. It was just like a movie. One of their guys came to Bruce's school and challenged him to a fight. If Bruce was defeated, the school would have to close. I was there, and um, the fight ensued, and it was a no-holds-barred fight, and it took three minutes, and Bruce got this man down on the ground and said, do you give up, do you give up, in Chinese, and he said, I give up, and those guys left. But this incident was very significant in his life. It was a turning point. He thought three minutes was far too long, and felt that his techniques were not as effective as he would want them to be. Bruce was energized by the difficulty of his victory. Now he took to building himself up and sharpening his techniques for long hours every day. It was at that point that he began to develop what would eventually become his way of martial arts, Jeet Kune Do. Jeet Kune Do, or the way of the intercepting fist, was the name Bruce gave to his evolving method of fighting. He drew detailed studies of the human body, illustrating moves that were more fluid, less stylized, and more practical than the classic techniques of the East. See, he illustrated everything. Uh, he's very good because when he taught, he tried to use every different aspect that he could. He wanted to find the essence of different martial arts, whether it was Japanese system or Chinese or Korean or Okinawan system or Indonesian or Thai. And he believed that every culture had something to offer. In this rare footage of a 1964 demonstration of his techniques in Long Beach, California, Bruce's ability to mesmerize an audience with his flamboyant feats and quiet authority is clear. This event brought Bruce his first big break. His performance here came to the attention of the producer of television's Batman series, William Dozier. Dozier then arranged for a screen test for Bruce. Test X1, take one, Steve. My last name is Lee, Bruce Lee. I was born in San Francisco in 1940. I'm 24 right now. And you worked in uh, motion pictures in Hong Kong? Yes, uh, since I was around six years old. Test X2, take two. This screen test was rediscovered a short time ago, 30 years after it was made. Well, uh, Kung Fu can be practiced uh, alone or with a partner. Uh, practicing alone, they involve forms. Some imitate a crane, a monkey, a praying mantis. This is a crane form. Let's start off. Thank you very much. Bruce began to work with Hollywood notables like Dean Martin and privately trained celebrities like Steve McQueen, who would become a close friend, and UCLA basketball star Lou Alcindor, now Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Bruce liked to work, vary his workout. Some days he would do a lot of cardiovascular and running. We'd work on the heavy bag. We'd work on hand techniques. Sometimes we'd break boards. There were a number of different things that uh, Bruce did. Old home movies show Kareem working out in Bruce's backyard. Actor James Coburn was another student who became a close friend as he trained with Bruce. It was all play, you know, it was very serious play. That was one of the things he says, play seriously. No, Jim. Yeah. Get your attitude, mental attitude, completely away from the previous one. And just like a beginner, you want to look at the back and want to experiment. Ah, oh, you see that? Man, I see some fire meet you in there. I was never very uh, athletic. It brought, he brought everything of my particular, so it, it brought it in, gave me a center to work from. 
beautiful. That's it. Trained so intensely, all of his muscles were absolutely uh, functional. They would move and they would respond and they were quick.